good news from the world of astronomy. The planet Saturn is pregnant. (laughs) I'll explain. Saturn, everybody knows you have a set of rings Composed of lumps of rock and ice and other space-born things Occasionally these lumps will clump together and they form A free-floating object and that's how a Saturn moon is born You're having a moon, baby, we can see the balls from here You're having a moon, baby, pretty soon it will appear You're having a moon, baby satellite we're 63 i don't know how you're gonna sleep at night you're having a moon baby popping out a planetoid you're having a moon baby drop that sprog into the void you're having a moon baby in honor of the birth congratulations from your noisy little sister earth Occasionally these lumps will clump together and they form A free-floating object and that's how a Saturn moon is born You're having a moon, baby, we can see the balls from here You're having a moon, baby, pretty soon it will appear You're having a moon, baby, an infant satellite We're 63, I don't know how you're gonna sleep at night You're having a moon, baby, popping out a planetoid You're having a moon Baby, drop that sprog into the void. You're having a moon, baby. In honor of the birth, congratulations from your noisy little sister Earth. When the orbits of asteroids are determined and the distribution of their semi major axes plotted, we find distances at which there are virtually no asteroids. A plot of orbital inclination versus distance shows the same bands where there are far fewer asteroids. American astronomer Daniel Kirkwood discovered this in 1866 when only 87 asteroids were known, and you'll be unsurprised that these features are called Kirkwood gaps. The presence of these gaps and their distances from the Sun have no mechanism to produce them if you think everything moves in nice neat circles around Earth. Like the planets, the vast majority of asteroids have orbits that are near the plane of the ecliptic. Just like everything else in the solar system, to match observations, each must move in its own crazier planetary spiral. But they must do so whilst maintaining an apparent pattern of gaps at known distances from the Sun. Space rocks, of course, aren't in some concerted conspiracy to keep tracts of space clear, in a manner that coincidentally conforms to universal physics. The Kirkwood gaps do seem to be beyond the suspected activities of Mr. Space Hammerman, unless he has developed a sideline in hoovering clearways in space. Perhaps he was subcontracted by the geocentrist Sky Fairy to clean up his mess. This is as far-fetched as the continuous miracle that geocentrism requires in any case. We're left then with one familiar possibility that keeps us firmly within the realm of physics and that is consistent with the rest of the universe. Gravity, you fucking retard! The Kirkwood gaps are caused by orbital resonances with Jupiter. For example, an asteroid that orbits the Sun twice for each orbit of Jupiter finds itself aligned between Jupiter and the Sun on every second orbit. These repeated regular alignments provide a gravitational kick which accelerates the asteroid out of that orbit. We can check this easily. Jupiter has a sidereal period of 11.86 years. Kepler's third law gives us a semi-major axis for its orbit of 5.2 astronomical units, which is correct. A body with an orbital period half that of Jupiter's would have a semi-major axis of 3.28 AU. If we look at our histogram of asteroid orbits, we should expect to find a dearth of asteroids at that distance. And we do. Other prominent gaps occur where there is a 3 to 1 resonance, 4 to 1, 5 to 2 and 7 to 3. There are other gaps corresponding to more unusual resonances, though these lead to a reduced number of asteroids rather than clearance. Orbital resonances are also responsible for the gaps in Saturn's rings. The inner edge of the prominent Cassini division, for example, is a result of a 2 to 1 resonance with the moon Mimas, and there are numerous examples of effects of orbital resonances in the solar system. 
Whilst most asteroids occupy the asteroid belt, not all of them do. They're all over the shop. Thank you.